Hey Simon, Coach Kyle and Banjo here. Banjo, your ear hair is in the way. Uh, the question was how to, how to make the treadmill less boring. So um, I have a treadmill distance PR of 52.4 miles. Um, I live in Western South Dakota, so we have some pretty frigid winters. I do most of my running outdoors, but I'll do the occasional easy run in the tread on the treadmill um, or I'll do like part of a longer run on the treadmill like I'll do the warm-up to a tempo run on the treadmill just so like instead of running 10 miles outside I'll do like the warm-up in the cool down outside and I'll run like six um, outside so whatever but um, like things that I've done things that I do to help pass the time you know like get like a Netflix account, um, Hulu, Amazon Prime, some sort of streaming service for TV or movies is incredibly, incredibly valuable, like game changer. <laughs> the next best thing to having a treadmill is having Netflix for the treadmill. So um, that would be my number one piece of advice is, you know, like just watch something on your smartphone. Next up, you know, um, podcasts, audio books. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, it's very helpful. Um, I don't, I think you are in the UK and I'm not sure how that works in the UK, um, but that's a great option. You know, if other things you can do are like, like I've done, you know, maybe split up the run indoors and outdoors. Um, other things are, you know, like doing workouts on the treadmill can help pass the time. Like I've done, uh, commercial fart licks where when it's on when the, when like some TV that I can see is on a commercial I'll speed up or I'll add some incline and then when it goes back to the TV show or whatever the movie I'll slow it down or level it out anything to pass the time um, otherwise you know you just one more mile one more mile one more mile 